So I've heard everybody all week talk about how Cincy is primed to be a bet on team in week four after their 0-3 start. And I disagree. So here's my case for Carolina plus the points. And before I get going, look, I give out free content every single day. I don't ask really for anything. I'm asking for something today. Comment. Tell us what you think. Like. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe. What, 170,000 of you now on our YouTube channel. Our content, content is killer. Thank you. Now, Carolina. Look, all reports all summer, we're talking about how the offense moved better under Andy Dalton than it did under Bryce Young. It showed in the line move last week. It showed in the line move this week. And when a team gets a quarterback who is competent, all of a sudden, everybody shows up and starts to do their job. It's revitalized. Just like you have a job with a shitty boss, a new boss comes in and he's good and he's sharp. Heck yeah, you step it up. Carolina's 3-17 and 17, straight up their last 20 games. Everybody's power ratings in the world has Carolina's the number 32 team in the league, even after the blowout win last week. All right. And last week versus the Raiders, that box score is lying. It's not like I trust Carolina to hold a big lead. I'm not asking them to hold a big lead. I'm just asking them to hang around within one score in this price range. And they're potentially, right now, an undervalued commodity, potentially a very undervalued commodity right now. We could buy Carolina low. I can sell Cincy high, no problem. Great, they almost beat the Chiefs. whoop the frickin' do The Falcons almost beat the Chiefs last week. The Ravens almost beat the Chiefs week one. The combined record of Chiefs opponents right now are two and seven straight up as of today. Okay, they almost beat the Chiefs. <laughs> the Bengals' defense is clearly problematic. All right. They're not stopping anyone. They're not stopping the run. They're not stopping the pass. They're star heavy on offense. And they've had to pay guys. So they have depth problems and it's showing. They lost to the Patriots straight up. They lost to the commanders straight up. Neither one of those teams is a whole lot better than Carolina. If we're viewing Cincy just on this year and not on preseason expectations, you really think this line is this high? Not a chance. And yes, Cincy started one and three last year. And guess what? They weren't a playoff team last year. They sure don't look like a playoff team to me this year either. Maybe expectations were just a good not too high. Not to mention, Road Chalk on a short week off a devastating loss Monday Night Football. Live Dog Panthers, that's my case. Back to you, Mr. Perez.